Starmax is a unique facility because it houses a lot of entertainment venues under one roof. Um, it can be challenging, but it's very beneficial because uh, we have 16 bowling lanes and a very qualified bowling manager, and uh, he's also a pro shop mechanic. So we can do a lot of in-house things here that he provides just within those 16 lanes and his own pro shop. That precludes folks from having to drive, you know, 60 miles to get any kind of professional work done on balls or even coaching. He's a certified coach. Well, number one, it's a lot of fun. Uh, you know, I've been here about 11 years, and the bowling alley's been here a couple of years, and uh, I'm not exactly sure what I did before we uh, started coming here, but we, we have a lot of fun here. We enjoy it. We enjoy bowling on uh, league night, as well as bowling on the weekends for recreation, something we didn't have for a long, long time. Uh, then you kind of split out to the arcade. And largely, you know, the younger kids, teenagers, we, we try to have uh, games for the highly technological ones, you know, the Terminators, the shooting games. Um, and those are all worked on in-house for the majority. Uh, so again, our bowling mechanic, is he wears many hats, he can also work on the arcade games. Uh, you kind of go over to the mini golf, and that one's self-sustaining. You know, you just turn on the lights and hand out a ball in a club. So that one's really easy to manage, um, as long as, you know, the folks are doing what they're supposed to do. And that's where you can kind of tie in. Uh, we have a, a good security team here. Well, been coming since they opened, first day and I've always enjoyed coming, especially with family. One of the biggest things with Starmax is uh, it's always enjoyable for all the kids. Uh, and you're not afraid to let your kids run free, enjoy all the different games they have. Our sports bar venue provides a, an atmosphere where folks don't have to have you know the expensive sports packages. They can get that here in our local bar. They can watch games on the weekends. Um, we've got a lot of college uh, games that we try to hype throughout the week, and then we have the Super Bowl kind of this Sunday, so timing's pretty good for that. Um, the theaters are probably, and I'm a little biased because I'm a theater guy, but it's probably our largest attraction. Um, as I mentioned, for a community that hasn't had entertainment for so long, to get a first-run movie in here like Transformers or Twilight or Harry Potter, and you don't have to travel, and you know you don't have to wait in these extensive lines, because you're only competing with a local community to watch a movie. I mean, it, it's great. You can capture a lot of that, you know, with, uh, right away, and folks are just excited that they don't have to make those travel plans to go do those those types of things. The movies are always first run. Uh, they, it's clean. We enjoy bringing. My wife and I enjoy coming by ourselves many times, uh, just to get away. And yet, when you come in the movies, there's not kids running around, which will disturb disturb you at times. But we've always been coming and we still do come. Birthday parties are great here. Uh, that's one of the most things the kids seem to love the most. I, I think the biggest thing they wanted was to uh, kick Deming dollars in Deming um, because you lose a lot of uh, your gross receipt taxes if you have folks that go to cruises to watch movies. And it's t it's a tough dynamic to, to explain because there are certain things you have to go to cruises to purchase. We just don't have the large hardware stores here or the large chains. Um, but our challenge was to get them to come back to Deming. If we could make the experience enjoyable enough here, then they could do the, the necessity shopping there and then keep their entertainment dollars here in Deming. Uh, we're a community that didn't have anything per se and always, what is there for the kids to do? What's there for the adults to do? Go somewhere else? And, uh, but here it is now and we're having the support from the community. Of course, we always wish it was better, but the community does support it. Uh, families and individuals and people come we have people come from other towns are coming here which I think is an added plus I couldn't believe uh, Silver City, Lordsburg and even Las Cruces come down because it's different than what they have. I feel one of our biggest assets is the backing we get from the community uh, because we're a small town and a lot of people want to see this succeed so um, we have folks that volunteer their time here uh, to help us run tournaments uh, they volunteer their time here to make sure that uh, the bowling specials are the best that they can be. Without the community support and without them buying into this, I mean, it, it would be a really tough project in, in such a small market uh, to really get up and running. But they back it because they know the value that it has for the young kids as well as for the adults who uh, have very limited options in, in, uh, in what you can do in a town of you know, 26,000 people and not a whole lot uh, surrounding us. As far as the community, I think it, uh, number one, it gives a lot of entertainment for the, uh, especially the young kids that uh, you know, they didn't have a lot to do in this town, and I think that's really important. They, they can come and bowl on Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night, or for matter of fact, they can bowl any night they want to, but uh, I, I think it's a great thing for the young people in this town. And for me personally, I got very lucky. I grew up here, and I went away to the military and came back. And uh, within one year of uh, me coming back to Deming, uh, this facility opened up. It, it attracted me because 
There's a large amount of employees here and, and I have the background of instructing and also supervising uh, kids from all ages. You train 18 year olds up to supervising, you know, mid 20s to, to your late 30s. And it's just been extremely rewarding to see the kids uh, embrace the customer service levels that we're looking for and, and the values of keeping a, a good project like this in a community that really needs the project. I, I felt, and maybe it's part of the military in me, that I had to give back to my community. So it's good for me to give back and uh, make sure that this project runs the best that it can. And as long as they have me, I'm, I'm going to stay here running StarMax.